Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy David from Penn Daily. Right now, we're at Chengdu's 2019 Motor Show and we're checking out Xpeng's booth throughout the whole exhibit. And what's cool is that they finally rolled out their 2020 G3 models. So we're gonna take a closer look at how it differs from its 2019 model. Okay, let's go check them out right now. Design-wise, you can see that nothing has really changed on the outside. It's still got that aerodynamic, very sleek, very sporty, very fiery sort of red look. You got your 360 camera on the top, all kinds of sensors on the sides for different physical, you know, detection of physical objects. So aesthetically speaking, nothing has really changed. What has changed though is their software OTA systems and their battery, which can boast up to a good 520 kilometers. All right, so coming into the interior of the car, you can see that most of the things in front of you haven't really changed. You got your big uh, tablet-like big display panel over here acting as the central hub controlling the whole car. But what you could do is you could eventually treat this thing as like a personal computer pretty much. With facial recognition, you can pretty much install like a profile of your own and then you can adjust different like car seats, everything to fit your own preferences for driving and then as soon as you sit in the system recognizes you as a user and then it'll like adjust everything according to your own preferences. Part of new things they're adding to the 2020 model is that they have a new heart rate detection system without having to test your pulse. What it does is this is the camera right over here it just does a facial scan for over 30 seconds and Throughout 30 seconds, it observes your facial muscle movements, everything, and then your, I guess they test your general temperature somehow using just a, like a camera scan, and then it can come up with an overall uh, heart rate of your own. So the whole point of having all these facial scans and these heart rate monitors is that they want to make this car as smart as possible. So when you enter it, any of your family members actually, when they enter their profile, as soon as you enter the car, the car knows you, it adjusts the seats, adjusts whatever, the, mir the mirrors, everything accordingly so you can drive comfortably. That's what they're trying to do with this car. And on the side of software, they've actually designed this thing, or the whole framework, to, to look towards the future, to the next five or 10 years. Because let's face it, when you're buying a car, you're not buying it for two years and changing it. You're buying it for at least a good amount of time. And to support that, they need to make sure the framework is actually big enough or actually updated enough to accept all of that. So you can accept all kinds of software updates wherever you are, OTA, over the air. Also, they have a very cool tracking system, I guess, they have their own x tracking system where if someone does steal your car, it can track it anywhere it goes, but obviously they can't really show me or guarantee that with me right now. So that's just something you're gonna have to find out more about it with the dealership you're interested. So the driver's seats are still in the previous position. I'm comfortable there. And also look at this. I'm comfortable here too. Look how much space I got. It's just about, you got two whole fists of space in between the legs and the knees, right? And you got about one and a half uh, fists of space on top over here too. So that's pretty good. I'm about what, five, seven, five, eight. So <clears throat> it's pretty comfortable for the average person if you're not like a super giant, right? Look at this, pretty spacious here. All right, so interior has got enough space. And if you check out the trunk of the car, you'd see that this could fit about two big luggages if you're thinking about traveling or going on like road trips, right? And also additional storage can also be found over here. So this is pretty much quite a good bit of room, like a good chunk of room for you. The biggest concern I know a lot of you might have is regarding battery and how long it can last you. Obviously, when they say 520 kilometers, that's giving you like a, it's a reference number. We'll be going from, let's say, Toronto to Buffalo, which is about 170 kilometers. You can go there and back, making a round trip, and you can still have enough battery to make it home. So that's actually pretty impressive with the fact that they upped it from 360 last year to 520 kilometers this year. The charging ports are on both sides of the car for easy charging, and 
you can charge from about 30% to 80% in about, let's say, 30 minutes. So that is pretty damn fast. Right, so besides the SUV G3 model, they've also launched a P7, which is their kind of sports sedan they're gonna be launching later on in the year. Kind of excited to see what's gonna bring, but besides that, that's all we're gonna show for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Later.